I'm not in Sydney anymore. Was that obvious? It's time to go for a ride in the snowy mountains. I've been here less than a day, but I'd happily say I'd move here. I'll explain, okay? So it's by complete coincidence that I'm down in the Snowy Mountains at the same time as the Cannonball Festival. But uh, I thought I'd go and take a peek at the, uh, the mountain bike world in Australia and, pe and uh, take a pedal up to Threadbow and uh, just have a chat on the Thursday, the 15th of February, 2024. The reason I'm here is that um, out of the blue, a couple of weeks ago, I got a call from Trent Lowe, who used to be a columnist for a Ride Cycling Review used to be a world champion in mountain biking and used to be a road cycling professional with Discovery Channel and with the, the Slipstream Sport team when it first started in 2008. And now he's a carpenter, a builder and host of Mill Cabin. Look it up, it's bloody beautiful. And he said, when he called randomly one day in, uh, in January, why don't you come on up? And I said, I will. So I'm doing that. And that's the story of my ride to, so far. I have to say it's been largely up a hill until now and I've uh, broken out into a sweat even though it's not that warm. But wind-free, magical conditions in the snowy mountains without snow. I will confess, um, it's been a pretty uh, light load of riding for me since the tour down under. So the first 10 kilometres has been a case of, you know, just <laughs> pushing my lungs back down my throat. But um, I'll find my legs again soon because it's a place that begs to be ridden and I'm not going to miss that opportunity. Every now and again, a little bit of reprieve from the gradient, but it hasn't been brutally steep, hasn't been over 10% yet. And, you know, 300 metres of climbing in 10 k's, it's not going to kill me, but it's just because I've, I'm out of practice. And I also probably had the most relaxing sleep I've had in years. So, life's pretty good, and even better now because it's that downhill section. I've done this before, but because I'm Australian. I have to confess, since the sighting of that snake, which was no small one, and I think it was a brown one, and, uh, since then, I've been keeping a closer eye on the verge of the road, but that was the only one I've seen so far. Ooh. Did you catch that creek? I wasn't expecting that one, but uh, not as dangerous as the brown snake. So I've just taken that right-hand turn off Alpine Way into Threadbow Village. And so far, all I've seen are cars carrying mountain bikes and a snake and no emus and no wombats, but plenty of wallabies and kangaroos. All right, one kilometre from uh, maybe a coffee, maybe a pastry, maybe a chit chat, and uh, a little bit of discovery about cycling as I've known it but as I've not done it for a little while i.e. mountain biking.
I reckon that looks pretty bloody good. Yes. Okay. So, um, uh, that's it. I went into the village, said hello to a few people, and now I'm just going to truck on along with a bit of a tailwind, turn around, go back to Jindabyne, have lunch, and then uh, see if I've got my mountain legs. The beautiful Threadbow River at my turnaround. So I went up to Dead Horse Gap, but they're doing some um, some path maintenance with a helicopter. So the uh, the authorities kindly asked me, "Do you mind just spinning around?" I said, "Sure, I'm I'm tired anyway." So it's going to end up at about 70, 80 k, but uh, pretty mild uh, bout of exercise. Well, actually, a fair bit of exercise, but pretty mild dose of, um, or a pretty significant dose of, not apathy, but just like, yeah, out of puff, like, got no energy, like, feel pretty average. <laughs> but in, it's just taken in the view and I've got magical weather, so what are you gonna do? You know, you gotta take advantage of it, don't you? Anyway, now it's back down the hill and I'll see if I can, um, you know, just take in the scenery and, and, and just enjoy myself, you know maybe increase my average speed a little bit because roller coaster time. So it looks like the action's heating up, like there's certainly some, uh, there's heaps of bike riders in town, but I mean, they, you know, they full body armor bike riders and they looking at me like, well, what are you doing here? And you know, but that's what I usually wear when I ride a bike. So I did that and, um, but I'm gonna go back. I need some lunch anyway. I'm, I'm a bit boring today. Sorry about that.